Welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling exercise number 14. We make this 3D model with the help of this diagram in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select the part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the right plane for the sketch and draw this half profile. Then mirror it. Extrude this up to 68 millimeters. Next, we use the loft command to make this portion. Draw this top square profile on the reference plane and this square profile on the solid face. Then join both profiles by using the loft tool. Next, we make a rectangular profile on the front plan and cut out through from the solid. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the right plane and click on the sketch. First, we start from this point and draw the half segment of this profile. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Line tool. Select the origin point for the first point of the line. Draw horizontally straight to the left side. Put the value 34 mm and press Enter. Continue to draw a line vertically straight to the downside. Put the value 15 mm and press Enter. Continue to draw horizontally straight to the right side. Put the value 18 mm and press Enter. Next, for the slant line, we select approximately point here. Then, draw horizontally straight to the right side. Get reference tracking of the origin point or first point of the line. And select the point. Escape the command. Now we set the dimensions. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Smart Dimension tool. Select this horizontal line and this line. Place the dimension. Put the value 9 mm and press Enter. Select this vertical line and this corner point. Place the dimension. Put the value 12 mm and press Enter. Now we're going to mirror all entities. Select all entities by using window selection. Select the Mirror Entities tool from the Sketch tab. Make sure all selected entities are listed in this section. Also, selected entities are highlighted in sky blue color. Confirm the mark for the copy box. Select the mirror about the section. For the mirror axis, we select the front plane from the part tree. See the preview of mirroring entities in yellow color. Click on Mark OK. Our sketch is completed. See here our sketch is fully defined. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Drop down the Direction 1 option. And select the Mid-Plane option. Put the extruding value 68 mm. See the preview. Click on Mark OK. See our 2D sketch convert into 3D solid. We need two sketch profile for the making this lofted portion. One saint this square profile on this solid face. We create a reference plane for the second this square profile. For this first profile, we select this top face of the solid and click on this sketch. We need to draw square-like parameters of this edge. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Convert Entities tool. See our square is ready. Just exit this sketch. See here, the sketch added in the design tree. We need the reference plane for this sketch to offset the 42 mm upside from the base. 
Go to the Feature tab, drop down the Reference Geometry, and select the plane. We need to set the first reference for the plane. Drop down the part history and select the top plane. Slightly rotate the 3D object and see the preview. This is our base top plane. And this is the reference top plane. Notice here, reference plane offset to the upside in by default value. We have a total height of 42 millimeters and our base plane rests on 15 mm height. So put the value 42 mm minus 15 mm and press enter. We got 27 mm to offset distance. See the preview and click on mark OK. Now we draw the sketch on this reference plane. Select the reference plane and click on the sketch. Press the control key with 8 to keep the sketch plane normal. Go to the sketch tab and select the center rectangle tool. Select the origin point for the first point of the rectangle. Move the cursor away. Put 48 mm value for the first side. Press enter. Put 48 mm value for the second side for the square and press enter. Our second sketch is completed. Slightly rotate this object to get the idea of applying the 3D feature. Set the view like this. Exit the sketch. See here, we have two sketches in the design tree. Go to the Feature tab and select the Lofted Boss Base tool. In this profile section, we have to add both sketches. Select this sketch and see this sketch add in this section. Next, select this sketch and see the preview. Our both sketches are lofted in the solid. Click on Mark OK. Now, we should hide this reference plane so as not to disturb the next steps. Just drop down this I button and click on the plane height option. See our reference plane is hidden. Next, we have to cut out this rectangular profile from the solid. For the draw this profile we select the front plane and click on the sketch. Press the control key with 8 to keep the sketch plane normal. Go to the sketch tab and select the corner rectangle tool. Approximately I select the first point of the rectangle here. Move the cursor in this direction. Put the 15 mm value width of the rectangle and press enter. If we calculate the dimensions, then we got 18 mm length of the rectangle. Put the value 18 mm and press enter. We have to set these two dimensions for the sketch. Go to the sketch tab and select the smart dimension tool. Select this corner point and this vertical line. Place the dimension. Put the value 15 mm and press enter. Similarly, select this line and this corner point and place the dimension. This dimension should be 15 mm. Here is a notification as we cannot change this value of the dimension. Just click on OK. Our sketch is completed. Slightly rotate this object to get the idea of applying the 3D feature. Set the view like this. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Cut tool. Drop down the Direction 1 option. And we required through all both option. See this feature cut out the profile through in both directions of the sketch plane. Check the preview and click on Mark OK. Our 3D model is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the Appearance. 
and select metal. Select brass material and I choose cast brass material. Just drag it on the object and select the body option. Now, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.